Osner is with the uh, Saskatoon Wind Turbine Coalition, and you can check out their website, saskatoonwindturbine.com. They're going to be at City Council tonight as uh, the ongoing discussion over this planned landfill windmill uh, is coming to a head here. Hey, Chris, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Brent. You know, I don't live in Montgomery. I live out on the east side of the city, and I've been sitting on the fence on this project, to be quite honest. But after looking at your information on your website uh, and the discussion I've had with some other people regarding what some people perceive to be some some limited, uh, uh, you know, information that's out there as possible negative effects on on people as far as those who live in the area. What what drives me as a resident of Saskatoon is I'm thinking, hmm, maybe when I hear Pat Laurier saying five million dollars, and is this thing really going to pay for itself? I think that's probably Probably what's going to uh, impact a lot of people in our city is just the cost and whether the returns there. But you're going to be at City Council tonight. Um, you've been in the Montgomery area collecting names on the petition. What is it you're going to be uh, saying to Council tonight, Chris? Well, what we're going to be going into Council is saying that although they've uh, they've actually listened to what residents have been saying and and it looks like they are going to be pushing back the decision to choose a contractor into the new year. Uh, I believe January 16th, we still are going to show up and uh, present a deputation saying that um, the city has engaged us for discussions and it seems like a positive step, but we but we need action. Um, hundreds of people have signed the petitions online and on paper, so the city and, and the city is responding to that. So that's that's positive. Do you think it's possible you guys might be able to get this project killed? Are you getting support from other members of council other than Pat Laurier? Uh, we are. We are getting getting support, and I think it's a matter of the councillors taking a closer look at the information. I think probably uh, the councillors being as busy as they are, you know, if you're presented with a solution that uh, looks on, on the surface to be green and make the city money, it'd be pretty hard not to, to vote in, in favour of that. Mm-hmm. And um, we just think that a little bit more digging has to be done, maybe a, a little bit more research. Do you, th- you know, you make an interesting point. I, I think that a lot of perhaps governments nowadays are are putting together these projects with the idea of either they're going to appease people in the community that that want to see the moving in what you call this green direction. They think that per- perhaps they are probably doing some good when at the end of the day they have to spend a little more time looking at the detail. A project like this, I guess, comes out of administration at Saskatoon City Hall. Someone at City Hall gets the idea that this would be a, a positive way to move. What about some of the other projects they're talking about out of the landfill, though, this uh, capture of methane gas and that is that something that your group supports well you, to tell you the truth Brent we support all all the green efforts if they make sense um, the uh, as far as the turbo expander and the methane gas recapture go from what I've seen mm-hmm. um, they both seem to make sense and any research that I've done briefly on those I haven't found any issues world, world worldwide with those kind of projects mm-hmm. So I haven't dug down into them, and, and uh, none of us claim to be experts on, on our um, group. Um, it's, a, it's the wind turbine that we're primarily concerned about. Yeah, I must say, I, I uh, really think you guys are taking it a, a, a real positive approach in it. You're not saying, kill this thing outright. You're simply saying, let's do some due diligence on this more than maybe what you perceive has been done by, by now by council, huh? Exactly. We just want to make sure that the solution is truly safe and is truly smart. And we think that there's precedent around the world showing that the city has to take you know a little bit of a closer look. Even in our own country, um, in the province of Quebec, they've got two kilometer setbacks. So we have to ask, why are these other places around the world, like Australia, with five kilometer setbacks? Why are they doing this? Um, uh, there must be a reason for it, because obviously it'd be more expensive to do that. So there must be a good reason. Well, we wish you luck. I look forward to your presentation at council tonight and uh, see what council decides to do with this project from here on. Chris, thanks for your time. Thanks, Brent. And if I could, we do have a meeting this Wednesday, the 7th at 7.30 p.m. at Montgomery School, and Carmen Crow from Wind Vigilance will be giving a presentation. She's also speaking at the U of S on the 6th. Excellent. Yeah, I saw that on your website. And again, if people want to get that information, you can go to saskatoonwindturbine.com. Uh, all the information about those public meetings are, are right there. Thanks for your time, Chris. Thanks, Brent. I appreciate you, it. You too. Uh, Chris Fosner uh, with the Saskatoon Wind Turbine Coalition uh, making their case at council again tonight after they've been collecting names on this petition in the Montgomery area. And uh, we'll see. Uh, is this project uh, going to fly? Uh, stay tuned. Interesting. As I say, as a taxpayer, I think that's what strikes me more than anything is you start to look at the numbers and say, well, gee, is this thing really going to pay for itself in five years? A $5 million project for one lone wind turbine at the landfill? 
And uh, while it may make us feel good that we're maybe uh, not using fossil fuels to create electricity in our city for a good number of people, is it really going to be something that, that pays for itself in that uh, five-year time frame? There's going to be a whole lot more information about this coming out, no doubt.